वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू कम्प्यूट सम ऑफ द की फाइनेंशियल मेट्रिक्स यूजिंग वन ऑफ अ पॉपुलर पैकेज इन आर एंड आई विल जस्ट हाईलाइट द नेम ऑफ द पैकेज सो यू नो वॉट यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल द पैकेज इज कॉल्ड फिन कैल राइट फिन कैल इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर फाइनेंशियल कैलकुलेशन एंड वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग in the series is to really talk about some of the key financial metrics which are very very useful in any sort of financial analytics or evaluating the uh, financial impact of different uh, projects right and the way we going to work on this is we will be using very very small baby cases or caselets to really put the point across to you right so let's get started okay okay so this is the question that i have for you right and the question is really simple the question is you have about a million dollar that you want to invest right and there is investment a which gives you 15% return compounded monthly right now this is little bit of the basics so if you don't know what is the compounding so i just uh, request you to do a quick google on it but that means basically you know the interest uh, that is going to be applicable is going to be compounding on a monthly basis right similarly there is investment b which gives you higher return which is 15.1% but the compounding will be happening on a semi annual basis and not on a monthly basis as in the previous investment so the question i have for you is which investment option you're going to choose and why right so think about it for a minute let me know what you think okay so i think you would have thought a little bit about that so let's keep going do you name can you name the concept or can you think about what exactly are we talking about this is nothing but what we call as the effective interest rate right and uh, there's a link that i have in the presentation that you can click on and in fact i will take you there it's called effective interest rate or effective annual rate right and the main motivation behind that is that it factors in the compounding period or how fast you're compounding based on that your actual return will be higher or lower than the nominal nominal is nothing but what is stated so in this case the stated return is 15 but the actual return will be higher uh, than this amount depending on higher or equal to this amount uh, depending on how the compounding is, is really happening right similarly in this investment as well when the stated amount or the nominal amount of interest is 15.1 the actual interest rate will be different right so the mechanism that we follow for that is basically effective annual rate or effectual effective interest rate so let's just go to wikipedia and look at the definition very quickly so this is the link that i have there and if you look at the page uh, i mean there's you know bunch of write up that you can go through it but let's focus on one thing which is the essence of the point that we're talking about which is eir or effective interest rate or effective annual rate is much more precise in financial terms right and the way it does it basically it takes into account the effect of compounding right and if something is compounding faster the effective interest rate or eir will be higher on that versus some other investment which is not compounding that fast right so hopefully you got a context of that uh, so let's step back into the problem that we have allow me a moment okay so we were over here right so how would you solve it so as i mentioned earlier you need to have a package called fincal and i will just write it down over here one more time so that everybody is aware of that the name of the package is fincal so make sure that you have this package installed and if you don't know how to install it you have to do install dot packages in r to 
really install this package, right? And once you have installed this package, then what we're going to do is actually run that. And I'm going to switch to my R Studio over here. And I have already installed it. So what I'm going to do now is basically load this library, which is capital F I N capital C A L. Once you load the library, we are looking at the first case. And if you remember the first case, this is mentioned right over here where I'm highlighting and I have done the math over here, right? So if you remember the first investment is giving a nominal interest rate of 15% and let me get my marker up and running again. So the first investment is giving you a return of 15% with annual compounding. So I will use a very simple formula EAR and there are two terms that you have to provide first is the nominal rate and the second is how many times it's going to compound in a year right so the nominal rate is 15 percent which is always stated in the fraction that's why you see 0.15 and because this is compounding on a monthly basis that means 12 times per year i provide 12 right so based on this i would get a certain value and let me show you what that value is so oops if I do EAR, A, you see this is the value, which is 16.07% effective interest rate. Similarly, I will do EAR for the investment B, which is going to be 15.6%, right? So I'll just make a point here. So for the investment A, for investment A, the effective interest rate turns out to be 16.07% and the nominal rate was 15% if you remember. And for investment B, the effective interest rate turns out to be 15.67% while the nominal interest rate was 15.1%. So which investment option is better in your opinion? A or B? Clearly the answer is A because the effective interest rate or EAR or effective annual rate on investment A is significantly better than the investment B, right? Now the question was how much better it is, right? So I can simply do the math over here. So if you remember, we had $1 million to invest and what I'm going to do is take a difference between the rate of A and the rate of B, which is nothing but the difference between 16.07 and 15.67. And that would be the difference. So the difference comes out to B, which is what I have already printed, but I will do it just to really make sure the math is working out. That difference comes out to be $4,054, right? So if you invested in A versus B, you will earn around $4,000 extra if you went with investment A. So clearly you can see there is a significant difference in going with this option. So hopefully you got this concept. I will meet you in the second video with another key metric. Thank you.